It's A level mathematics, chapter 12.3, the distance from a point to a line. 12.3.1, uh, find the point with the position vector i minus j plus k. A line L through A is given by a vector of r equals i minus j plus k plus t times quantity of one third i plus two thirds j minus two thirds k. Verify that one third i plus two thirds j minus two thirds k is a unit vector. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and I'm going to try and find the magnitude of what we have for that vector. Magnitude is always going to give me the distance. So for this one right here, <clears throat> I'm going to rewrite it as P. Magnitude is equal to the square root of, that's going to be 1 third squared plus 2 third squared plus negative 2 third squared. Extend that. So that's going to give me, let me see, square root of uh, 1 ninth plus 4 ninth plus 4 ninth. So together that's 9 ninths, which gives me 1. So the square root of 1 is 1. So there we go for that. So now verify that it is a unit vector. So this is actually a unit, a being the single form meaning that it's just one. So a unit vector meaning one. So we have one unit vector there. All right, so this next part says, show that L intersects the line M with the equation R equals three I plus six K plus S times the quantity of two I plus J minus three K. If you notice there, right here, I don't have a J. So that means that value is gonna be zero. So I'm gonna rewrite this equation. So I could actually set it up in my x, y, and z because I want to see when this one is going to be equal to my other one. So I need to set them equal to each other. Uh, let's go ahead and x equals 1 plus 1 third t. y is equal to negative 1 plus 2 thirds t z is equal to 1 minus 2 thirds t. Now for my other equation, it's going to be x is equal to uh, 3 minus 2s. I'm sorry, negative 3 plus 2s. So right here, make sure we're not getting this wrong. So it's negative 3 here plus s times 2, 2s. There we go. The y value is going to be, there is no j, so that one's 0, and that f, and right here is 1, so it's just going to be an s. The z value is going to give me uh, 6 minus 3s. Let's go ahead and set those equal to each other. So I'm going to get 1 plus 1 third t equals negative 3 plus 2 s negative 1 plus 2 thirds t equals s and 1 minus see that minus sign right there 2 thirds t equals 6 minus 3 s All right, so looking at this, uh, let's get rid of our fractions by multiplying uh, all of them by three. And I'll clear out my fractions. So let's see what we have. So multiply everything by three, so like that. So we should get three plus t equals negative nine plus six s, okay. The next one's going to be negative 3 plus 2t equals 3s. And it's 1 minus 2t equals 18 minus 9s. All right, let's go ahead and rewrite everything. So everything is uh, in standard form. So I'm rewriting this in standard form so I can have my variables on my left-hand side and my constants on the right. 
So let's take a look. So this is going to give me negative 6 s plus t equals, uh, that's going to give me negative 12. The next one's going to give me negative 3 s plus 2 t equals 3. Uh, last one is going to be 9 s minus 2 t equals 15. So right here in a system of equation, these two are going to be used. Um, I'm going to use those because my t's will cancel. So I'm going to get 6 s is equal to 18. So s is 3. So I got s here. Now I don't need to plug it in again to find t because I know that both lines should be the same place. They're going to intersect so if I plug in either s or t I'll get the same answer out of it. But for the sake of I will go through and do it. Uh, let's do it right here so it's going to be my negative 6 times 3 plus t that's a t t equals negative 12 uh, negative 18 plus t equals negative 12 move it to the other side t is equal to 6 so I got s is 3 t is 6 so now to find the intersection of this all I have to do is go ahead and plug this in so I'm going to plug it into this one right here because I don't want to plug into the fraction because a little bit more work and so same answer here anyway x equals negative 3 plus 2 times 3 which would give me let me see 6 that's 3 y value is uh, that's just 3 and z is uh, 6 minus 3 times 3 that's going to give me 9 uh, so negative 9 right here so it's negative 3 so my coordinate is going to be 3 comma 3 comma negative 3 so this is going to be the intersection point of this and so as we stated up in the beginning of this problem right here that this is actually going to be called B Now, for part C, we're going to find the distance from A to B. B being my value that I just found. A is the value that was given to me at first. So, my B value, to figure that out, I need to find the distance. Distance is magnitude, so I need to go from B minus A. So, B, which was 3, 3, negative 3. The value for A, which was uh, 1, negative 1, and 1. So subtract those, and I'm going to come up with 2. This one's going to give me 4, and here I get negative 4. So right here, that's going to give me my values there. And so that's my vector from there to there. So to find the distance, we need to do the magnitude, which let's call this one Q magnitude is going to be 2 squared plus 4 squared plus negative 4 squared uh, I get 4 plus 16 plus 16 so 32 36 equals 6 so the distance from A to B is going to be 6 units Now problem 12.3.2, find the distance of any point Q with the coordinates of 3, 1 from the line L through the origin with vector equation R equals uh, T quantity uh, 5 over 13 and 12 over 13. So different ways that we could write this, this would be T quantity of 5 over 13 I, or yeah, 5 over 13 I plus 12 over 13 J. But this is another way of writing it when seeing it. Now, this is at the origin, so that means that the, the position vector before this is actually just 0, 0, 0. That's why we're not seeing there in that equation. So let's say we have a
So let's go over one, two, three, one. This one's point right here is going to be three comma one. Origin is here. And then we have another line. My other line, the equation, which would be this one right here. I believe it goes up something like this. Now we want to find the distance from this point to this line. Now the shortest distance is going to be a straight line. Now what it's also going to be is this is going to be perpendicular here. So this from here to here is going to be perpendicular. So there's a couple things that we know. We know that going this way we're going to have a unit vector of let's see 5 over 13 and it's 12 over 13. It's another way of showing it. Now this is what uh, normal uh, American or imperial system likes to use with the instead of having parentheses again we have um, I don't even know what to call those things. Little alligators. Anyway, they're eating it. So this way so going in this direction here, we need to find the direction from this. I know that this is going to be my origin to this point here. So to figure out this vector, it would be B minus A. My B is going to be 3, 1 minus A, which is 0, 0. So my directional vector here is going to be 3, 1. So this way is going to be one, and this is going to be the other. So we're going to call this one P, and then we're going to call this one Q. Now I have a formula, the dot product, that I'm going to use here. So we're trying to find the angle in between this first. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and let's write out the dot product. So it's going to be the cosine of theta is equal to P times Q over magnitude P times magnitude Q. So right now it didn't say to use it, but what we need to do to find this is we're going to use some right angle trig. We're going to find this angle and it's going to help us get that right there. Now, for this one right here, to do the multiplication of this, so I'm going to have to multiply these together. So for cosine theta is equal to, so now P times Q, so that's going to be this times this. So that's going to give me 15 thirteenths plus this one right here, which is, or for my other one, it's going to be, let me see, 12 thirteenths all over magnitude P. Let's see, magnitude P is going to be square root of 5 over 13 squared plus 12 over 13 squared. And that's going to be times magnitude Q, which is going to be 3 squared plus 1 squared. Alright, so in my numerator of this whole thing, I'm going to bring down my cosine theta is equal to uh, 27 over 13. Uh, yeah, 27 over 13. This right here is going to give me 25 over 169 plus 144 over 169. So the 25 and 144 is going to be 169 over 169. And the, <clears throat> so when I reduce that, that's going to give me 1 squared to 1 is 1. So I get 1 times 9 plus 1 is 10 squared to 10. So right here, let's go ahead and clean this up. Uh, this would be 27 over 13 times, uh, if I'm multiplying by this, it's going to be, let's see, 
1 over square root of 10. Now, for argument's sake, I could go through and just try and leave it like this and try and plug it in the calculator for this. But I'm going to go through and show you this. So cosine theta is equal to, let's rationalize this. So rationalizing it, I'm going to come out with, uh, let me see, 27 square root of 10 over 130. Now, we're going to go through and actually use that information right there to try and find my angle. So to find my angle on here, I would actually work it backwards. So do the inverse. So theta is equal to inverse cosine of my 27 square root of 10 over 130. Right, I had to find my calculator right here. So let's take a look. I'm plugging this in the calculator. So second cosine, we're trying to find the angle and that's gonna help me use some right angle trig over here to find that missing side. Uh, 27 square root of 10, close that divided by 130, close it, enter, and I should get, uh, let's see, that's going to be uh, 48.9, uh, let's say 9.5 on this one. So 48.95. So 48.95 degrees is my angle theta. So now that was giving me the cosine, so I was able to use this piece here and this piece here. But now I want to find this piece, so I'm going to put right here. So now from this angle in a right angle trig, this side's going to be opposite, and this is hypotenuse. So opposite hypotenuse is sine. So I'm going to have sine of my 48.95 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is x over square root of 10, because that's what I had for that one. I had the magnitude of square root of 10. So multiply both sides by square root of 10, so I get square root of 10 sine 48.95 is equal to x. That's the times right there. And close sine 48.95. Enter, which you couldn't come up with 2.38. So x is about 2.38. So the distance from this point here to this line is going to be 2.38. All right, 12.3.3, find the distance of the point Q with the coordinates 1, 2, 3 from the straight line with the equation 3i plus 4j minus 2k plus t times quantity i minus 2j plus 2k. Now, it's the same th type of thing that we just did with the two-dimensional, but this one is now going to be three-dimensional. And I'm not very good at drawing a three-dimensional on a flat surface. So, I'm going to make it look just like my other one because the same rules apply. So let's say this is actually going to be my point Q and my coordinates are 1, 2, 3. Then I have right here so it's somewhere over here because it's not at the origin so I'm not putting it at the origin just so we don't make a mistake here and then this one is going say this one's going up I'm looking for this distance here and I have this let's call this going this way it's going to be my P this one's going to be my Q now from here to here going that way so my vector going that way is going to be let's see that's going to be 1 negative 2 and 2 so vector going up that way is there, vector going from here to here 
So we got to find the vector because I have this point, okay, which is going to be this right here. And I have this point right here, so I do my B minus A. And B is going to be a 1, 2, 3 minus A, which would be this point, which is 3, 4, negative 2. So I'm going to have uh, negative 2. It's going to give me negative 2, and this one's going to give me uh, 5. So I have my vector. So this vector, my direction is negative 2, negative 2, and 5. So I have that direction now. So now from there, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did before. So first thing I'm going to do, even though this is in three-dimensional, you know, pretend like you're looking at 3D, put on some of those red and blue glasses and hopefully it'll, you know, pop out at you. All right, so now we're going to find this angle right here using the dot product again. So I'm going to have cosine theta. equal to my P times Q over magnitude P times magnitude Q. So cosine theta is equal to P, which is going to be, so P times Q, so 1 times negative 2, I get negative 2. Next one is going to be negative 2 times negative 2 plus 4. And last one is going to be 2 times 5 is plus 10. All that is going to be over, let's see, magnitude of P is going to be 1 squared uh, plus negative 2 squared plus 2 squared times square root magnitude for this one here, which is going to be negative 2 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 5 squared. So let's go ahead and so clean up the top. So right here, this is going to give me 12. Let's see, right here, 12 magnitude, so it's going to be 1, 4, and 4, so it's 9, square root of 9 gives me 3, this one's going to give me 4, 4, and 25, so 4, 4, 25, so that's going to be 8 plus 25, uh, square root of, let's see, 33, yeah. 25 plus 8 is 33. So square root of 33. So now let's go through and I could rationalize this or we could just try and do it as is, but it's easier to rationalize. Cosine theta is equal to, let's reduce that, so I get 4 over square root of 33. 33 square root of 33. So we end up with cosine theta is equal to 4 radical 33 over 33. So now from there, I could actually use this. So let's turn it into, do the inverse theta is equal to inverse cosine of my 4 root 33 over 33. So let's see, on, so I have right here, so second cosine, 4 root 33, close, divided by 33, close, enter, uh, we get 45.87 degrees, so theta, 45.87 seven degrees so now so we found the angle so now we're still going to just find this one right here so again 
Okay, from this side, this is going to be the opposite, and we have hypotenuse, which was the magnitude of this. Magnitude of this one, the Q, came out to be square root of 33. This one right here came out to be just 3 when I did this one. But this one came out to just be the square root of 33 there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the sine for this one. So sine of 45.8. 7 is equal to x over what I had here, which was the square root of 33. So square root of 33 times sine of 45.87 equals x. Square root of 33 times sine of 45.87. Close that, enter. And I'm going to get 4.12. So x is about 4.12 units. All right. Hopefully there's no other questions over that. The practice is going to be 1 through 5. The homework is 1, 3, and 5.